Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to download the free software called Gretel. You please write Gretel and you can see Gretel software download. After that, you can click on the first one that is from sourceforge.net. You can click on that. Then you can see the download button here right so gretel is an open software which can be used for econometric analysis and this is a good platform this is a cross platform statistical package for econometric analysis right uh, and this gretel the full form of gretel actually g stands for jnu it's an open source license and r stands for regression e stands for econometrics and t and l stands for time series library so click on this button then it will get downloaded so anyway i have already downloaded it and you can see the icon here this is the icon so you click on this icon after downloaded Gretel you can click on this and say yes and after that you can see English language this is our language so you can click on ok then next then install actually I have already installed it so you can fi give finish button once it's finished and then you will get an icon like this this is the icon of gretel so this is gretel okay so click on that because uh, this is the installation is not over here anyway yeah finish then only I can open this one right so when you open this Gretel you can see this window the small window you can see and if you have the data with you you can just drag on it then it will ask for the spreadsheet import then click on ok then it uh, say some information like the information on this data just I am going to keep close and now I am going to if I want to uh, you know interpret this undated data in a in a time series or panel interpretation I can give S so now I am going keep giving S then it will ask for cross session time series panel which one I want I just want uh, cross session so I'm clicking on cross session and then forward so cross session data available from 1 to 62 so apply okay so we can check the data sets it is all it is income data this is consumption data and this is investment data okay now uh, we can go for this summary statistics is there so, and frequency distribution so these are the things you have to do in your projects and all so let's see so I'm going to select the variables like this and after that you know, if I'm going to select more variables then this uh, variable tab will will not be visible so if I am selecting only one variable then it will be you can see the variable uh, tab here so okay I want to know the summary statistic of statistics of income data so you can see the mean of uh, this income data is 9229 0.4 and medium minimum value we will get maximum value we will get so all the important summary statistics 
can be visible within one click right and regarding consumption also i can see the summary statistics so likewise you can check it and now if i want to get the frequency distribution i can click on it just give okay yes this is the frequency distribution of consumption data okay let's see uh, if i want to do uh, ordinary least square method what can i do i can click on this model and ordinary least square and here what are the variables here constant is there constant means what it is absolute consumption here if we are going to plot the consumption income relationship constant is absolute consumption income is there income is independent variable right so these are regressors and the consumption is dependent variable right and investment if you want to include investment in this model then you can include it otherwise you can left it as uh, so here i have included income only so i'm going to plot the relationship between consumption and income so click on ok so this is the regression oil is a result see so based on one thing you have to notice uh, interpretation is a different thing so for your uh, paper there is no need to interpret all these things uh, just i am showing how to use the software and this is so simple uh, and here you can see the results constant value is there t ratio p value p value is here it is significant because it is less than 0 0.01 0 0.5 so it is significant and income data income uh, coefficient that is 0 0.71 that is the mpc here so standard error is very less and here also you can see the p value is less than uh, 0 0.05 because it involves e value so Okay, so the next thing you have to check is the adjusted R square. Here you can see the R, R square is 0 0.99. So it means that there is these variables are highly correlated. Right? So this is what uh, OLS shows. This is very simple to use. And you can use both cross-sectional and time series data, panel data. But this Gretel is popular for time series and panel data analysis. So here this is the way and another way of using it. You can uh, go to file and open data and user file is there. From that also you can click get data and sample file is there. In this Gretel software itself there are a lot of samples files that are available and if you want to do this analysis for practice you can select uh, these things from the gretel model itself gretel software itself and you can select any of the data sets and uh, work on it right so this is about gretel i hope all of you have understood uh, it's only i'm giving you exposure to this uh, software thank you